Apologies, dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV, for that technical issue. As I mentioned, we have um, a new guest uh, on, or two new guests actually, on my socially distant uh, hot seats for, for, for today. Um, we are welcoming back Sayyid, uh, Dr. Sayyid Amman Akhshwani onto the show. He's going to be with us. Uh, but also, we're welcoming Sheikh Muhammad Al Hilli, uh, as well as Muhammad Datu, who's going to be blessing us with recitations and, of course, the wisdom uh, of Imam Al Hussein and the heroes of Karbala. So, before we get on to the speaking side, I would like to kind of shake it up a bit um, and listen to poetry, if that's okay with you, Haj Muhammad. Firstly, how are you? How's everything? Alhamdulillah, how are you keeping? Not bad, Alhamdulillah. Um, so far, so good in terms of the program. Are you guys really socially distant? No. A bit more than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have something in between. Uh, yani, ah, so it might. A, there's a barza. It might. It might. Yeah, it might. Something <laughs> might happen. Uh, but if you want, if you want to say it, I'll, I'll just move it a bit to the side. Yeah, move, move a bit. Just we're a bit, just a bit more. Um, so yeah, Haj, and I think we were talking behind um, uh, off air <coughs> that there's a specific poem that you have. That's right. Um, care to share with us? So uh, of course we know the the famous story uh, as the scene is set that Hisham has come for Haj. And thousands have come, and as he goes to do tawaf, you know, he can't go close, he can't kiss Hajar al-Aswad. Oh. And he's angered by this, that the people haven't given him his respect as he deserves. Yeah. Mm. So he sits afar, as Shuyuk, they, they both know, I don't need to tell them, but if anyone at home doesn't know the story. And all of a sudden they see a man with a luminous face enter. Yeah. And he goes towards the Kaaba, and the people split like the Sea of Musa parts. And he goes and he does his tawaf and he kisses Hajar al-Aswad and he walks away. And, you know, Hisham is angered, his, his pride has been hurt, and he knew who this was. Ajib. But out of that anger and that ignorance and that arrogance, he says, Man hadha? Mm. Who is this? And at that point, uh, a lover of Zain al-Abideen by the name of Farazdaq stands up and he says, uh, Hisham, you don't know who he is? Let me tell you. you know, let me tell you, yeah. provided you don't take my life. And in front <laughs> of everyone, Hisham had to agree to this. And then on the spot, uh, this, uh, the lover of the Ahlul Bayt, Faraz Daq, stands up and gives beautiful lines of poetry, uh, which I will inshallah Please. share a few lines. Please. Um, just before I do, just to, it's in Arabic, so just a bit of a translation of what it talks about. Uh, so other than talking about who his parents are, you know, he really strikes Hisham when he says, "Hadabnu Fatimatin in kunta jahilahu." You know, he says things mm. like this to him, and then he says. Um, he says, وَلَيْسَ قَوْلُكَ مَنْ هَذَا بِضَائِرِ He doesn't matter whether you say مَنْ هَذَا Who is this? الْعُرْبُ تَعْرِفُ مَنْ أَنْكَرْتَ وَالْعَجَمُ Arabs and non-Arabs know who it is. Mm. You know, what does matter what you say? Uh, the way that Hajj al-Aswad, if it knew who was coming to kiss it, it would fall down and kiss the earth underneath this person. Um, and the line which is the most beautiful for me, he says, مَا قَالَ لَا قَدْتُ إِلَّا فِي تَشَهُدِهِ mm. He was so generous, alayhi salam, that he would never say la. If it wasn't for tashahud, he would never have said la. He only says la in ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Subhanallah. Lawla tashahudu kanat la'uhu na'amu. If it was la that even la'uhu na'amu. Na okay, okay. So would have, okay. even that would have been, would have been a yes. MashaAllah. So uh, Please. inshallah, a few lines uh, with the barakat of salat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah. 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 Salli ala, ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Muhammad. يا سائلي أين حل الجود والكريم عندي بيان إذا طلابه قدم هذا الذي تعرف البطحاء وطأته والبيت يعرفه والحل والحرم هذا ابن خير عباد الله كلهم هذا التقي النقي الطاهر العالم هذا الذي تعرف البطن 
ضحى وطأته هذا الذي أحمد المختار والده صلى عليه إله ما جرى القلم لو يعلم الركن من قد جاء يلثمه لخر يلثم منه ما وطى القدم وهذا علي رسول الله والده أمست بنور هداه تحت الأمم هذا الذي عمه الطيار جعفر والمقتول حمزة ليث حبه قسم هذا الذي تعرف البطحاء وطأته هذا ابن سيدة النسوان فاطمة وابن الوصي الذي في سيفه نقم يكاد يمسكه عرفان راحته ركن الحتيم ركن الحطيم إذا ما جاء يستلم وليس قولك من هذا بظائره العرب تعرف من أنكرت والعجم إذا رأته قريش قال قائلها إلى مكارم هذا ينتهي الكرم هذا الذي تعرف البطحاء وطأته ما قال لا قادت إلا في تشهده لو التشهد كانت لا أهون عموم يستدفع السوء والبلوى بحبهم ويسترق به الإحسان والنعم مقدم بعد ذكر الله ذكرهم في كل فرض ومختوم به الكلم من يعرف الله يعرف أولوية ذا فالدين من بيت هذا ناله الأمم هذا الذي تعرف البطء حاء وطأته يا سائلي أين حل الجود والكرم عندي بيان إذا طلابه قدم هذا الذي تعرف البطحاء وطأته والبيت يعرفه وال حل والحرم هذا ابن خير عباد الله كلهم هذا التقي النقي الطاهر العالم هذا الذي تعرف البطحاء وطأته اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد I haven't heard that since 20 years ago, <laughs> Mullah Basim, yes, yes, he oh. had this and he had um, Qatsala Qalbi, yes, and he had uh, yeah, the Abel Fadl. I don't know, I forgot the, the words for Abel Fadl. Um, I'll probably remind it, remember it later. Thank you very much, no, thank you. Muhammad, uh, for that beautiful, beautiful rendition. Thank you. Beautiful.